Long ago, in the highlands of the north, there lived a princess who owned all the finest things that her father's riches could buy. Sparkling jewels, fine dresses, and pieces of gold. But among all that, her greatest treasure was a horse. Now this horse was like no other. He was wild and beautiful, with a spirit that was strong and free. Each dawn, the princess would wait for the stallion, and each morning he would appear. But one morning, the stallion waited and waited, but the princess never came. And some say that to this very day, the stallion returns to the same place every morning, just waiting for the princess to appear. Good night, Sarah. Next in line, please. Are you on your own? It's very brave of you, Sarah. I'm going to Scotland to stay with my father. Oh, Scotland? It's a long way from Los Angeles. Yeah, it is. Still, I bet you can't wait to see your dad. I don't know him that well. He lives out in the middle of nowhere with a bunch of sheep. Well. There's nothing wrong with sheep. Nothing at all. OK, you're done now. Thanks. Dear Sarah, there are so many things I want to say to you, and I hope I have the chance to say them all. But if my time comes too soon, I want you to have this letter to keep with you, always, as a reminder of just how much I love you. Coping with death is not easy, but I know how strong you are and that however hard it gets, you'll pull through. And don't believe all the things I said about your father. He's a good man, even if he is impossible. Sarah, darling, I can only hope that you find something to love in life as much as I love you. Be brave. Love, Mom. Sarah? Hi. Well, you, you really have... Grown? Yeah, it happens. I'm sorry I wasn't here to meet you. I thought... It's okay. I thought you were getting in later. I've got an earlier connection in London. I see. Welcome to Scotland. Thanks. Shall we go? Yeah, I think I've pretty much done the airport. I'm okay. Uh, it's this way. This is it. Mrs. Brown will have supper ready.
I hope you're not one of these girls that starves themselves down to skin and bone. Sorry, I'm sure it's really good, but I don't eat meat. I see. Sarah, Mrs. Brown's been to a great deal of trouble. Not to worry. The dogs will enjoy it. They most certainly do eat meat. Do you have dogs? I can't very well have a sheep farm without sheep dogs. Where are they? In the barn. Can I bring them in? No, we don't allow animals in the house. Everyone has their place on a farm. You can take this out to them. OK. They're not always good with strangers. You better have Alice to go with her. Come on, follow me. This is my boy, Alistair. Alistair, this is Sarah. Good. Now that the formalities are over, I want you two to take this out to the dogs. Are you not going to say hello? Hi. Hi. I wasn't finished. It'll be here when you get back. Come on, then. How come you guys were eating in the kitchen? Is that an upstairs, downstairs thing? Mum thought you and your dad should be alone for the first night. Said you'd have a lot to talk about. Guess she was wrong. So you're from California, eh? Yeah. Hollywood and all that? Glendale, actually. It's in the valley. Oh. They're beautiful. Well, you certainly seem to have a way with animals. It'll be great to have you around. Why? Because I have a way with animals? No. What I mean is, it'll be great to have you around. Do you ride? Sure. Would you like to come up to the North Field when you're waking up? Where's that? Uh, well, Alistair can give you instructions in the morning. Put her on Billy, all right? OK. I'll show you around. Maybe even put you to work. Great. Well, that's me. Early to bed, early to rise. Good night, Alistair. Good night, Mr. Stewart. Good night, Sarah. Good night, Mr. Stewart. Afternoon's more like it. Your father will be wondering where you are. What? Haven't you got any proper footwear? What's wrong with these? It'll be a bit muddy up there. I'll be fine. Suit yourself. Don't worry. Billy won't give you any problems. Billy. Are you ready? I guess so. OK. Up you go. Wrong foot. It's been a long time since I rode. OK, you see that road going up into the hills? If you go to the top of that road, you'll find a rock that looks like a fish. A fish? Yeah. What kind of fish? I'm just kidding. Well, when you get to the rock, there's a fork in the trail. Take the left trail straight up the dirt road. When you turn up there, you'll find the north field 100 yards on your left. I'll find it. OK, give him a kick. I know. I was just getting the feel. Oh. Beauty. Deer. Where? Deer tracks 
But we can't eat deer tracks. No, we can't. But if you hurry up and get the traps, then we'll be eating real deer before nightfall. I guess it could be a fish. You don't mind looking after me then? Malky, you're my baby brother. It's going to be wonderful having you around. Okay? Okay. I can teach you things. Look around you. This place is full of animals. I love animals. People give you money for them, and they taste brilliant. You and I can work this land together. But uh, you're really going to have to help me out a bit more. OK. What shall I do? Put your foot there and release the spring. What was that? Malky! What was what? A horse. I heard a horse. Well, there are no horses here, all right? Let's try that again, shall we? All right, but I definitely heard a horse. Somebody should put some signs up around here. What do you think, Belly? Get everybody fed? Yes. Fix the barn door? Yep. Stable locked up? Yep. Good lad. Come on, let's go and get some grub. How did Sarah get on with Billy? What? I thought she was with you. With me? I sent her off to the North Field, like you said. Get Jester saddled. Probably find her on her way back. Aye, right. probably. You shouldn't be wandering around out here all alone. I 
I'm kind of lost. I, I heard you calling. That was quite a tumble you took. I'm okay. Well, you don't look okay. Can you walk? I don't think so. Well, I'm too old to carry you. You can't stay down here all night, so you'll just have to. Here, try this out for size. Come on. Pull yourself up on that. <laughs> uh, it's too steep to go that way. We'll need to take the long way round. Where? I have to get back. You're not going down the mountain tonight. Not in this weather. You'll need to stay up at the cottage with me till morning. Better follow me. Supper's on its way. Let's not bust the blood vessel. You'd think they've not eaten a morsel for days. Oh, leave it open, would you? The night shift will be wondering where I've been. You can close it now. Meet the clan. Are they all yours? Oh, no. They all just come and go as they please. I suppose we look after each other. Just like a family. I found him when he was just a cub. Left for dead after a hunt passed through. This fella here. Shot by a farmer. Mm-hmm. Damaged his wing. One. That's enough. No, no. And that's Osborne. What's the fox called? Well, just the fox. It doesn't have a name. I don't give the wild ones names. It takes away their dignity. But you can call me Fergus, because that's my name. Sarah. Oh, happy to make your acquaintance, Sarah. Now, just warm yourself while I make you some special tea. What's special about it? Heather and Bilberry, made with my own fair hands. Oh, not as fair as they used to be. You're not from these parts. I'm from California. Oh, a long walk. No wonder you're tired. I'm staying with my father. Well, and who might that be? Ian Stewart? Huh? The controller. Why did you call him that? Well, because he likes every living creature to be in their place, on time, and in order. <laughs> I sometimes sit and watch him herding the sheep. You know, you could set the sunset and the sunrise by him. Do you mind if I call him? Well, you need a healthy pair of lungs for that, because it's four miles down as the crow flies. <laughs> no, I meant on the phone. Oh, don't use them. Give me a headache. But I have to let my father know where I am. He'll be worried. Oh, he'll be worried for sure. But there isn't much we can do about it. All right. Come on. Walk towards me. What for? If you can reassure me that you can walk safely on that leg of yours, you can take my raincoat there, and I'll walk you down the mountain. Ah, uh, you're going nowhere, lass. You've got one damaged limb, and I'm not going to let you get another. My conscience just won't allow it. And as far as your father's concerned, he'll have one night of worry, but I'm sure he'd prefer that to seeing you lay up in hospital for weeks on end. Well, sit down here.
Evening. Hi, Ian. I take it she hasn't turned up yet. No, but I found the horse about a mile up the north side. She could have walked anywhere from there. If she's got any sense, she'll have dug in somewhere. There's the old crofter's cottage further up. Ferguson's place. Uh -huh. No, she couldn't have walked there, not in this. But if she has, at least she'll be safe and dry. Look, we'll do what we can on foot tonight, but the helicopter will have to wait until tomorrow. I can't ask the boys to fly in this. No, quite. Don't worry, we'll find her. She'll be soaked to the skin and a bit embarrassed, but none the worse for wear. I'll go with you. No, you stay here. I don't want to be worried about you as well. I hope you're as hungry as the clan. I'm famished. Good, because you're about to taste my vegetable stew. Guaranteed a cure for all ills. But it won't be anything like you're used to in California. You know why? Why? Because those vegetables were in the ground this morning. That's why. Uh, and civilization is a way of taking the flavor out of anything that passes through it. Have you ever been to California? Never been out of Scotland. Well, maybe someday. Oh, I reckon I'm too old to go wandering off into the world now. I started life on this mountain, so I guess it's the place to finish it, too. Now, dinner. I'd better serve you a wee bit more before you scrape through the bottom of my bowl. Oh, no, I couldn't really, Fergus. I'm stuffed. It was incredible. Aye, and every ingredient came from within spitting distance. Puff ball from the woods, boss mushrooms from the meadow, samphire from the cliffs, watercress salad from the bun, all finished off with a hint of elderberry sauce. I've never tasted anything like it. And you won't either, because every meal here it's unique. Not like in your fancy restaurants. He likes you. Have you got pets? I used to. I had a tortoise once named Horace. But he got squashed by a motorcycle. I was shattered. Mm-hmm. Lucky old Horace. Lucky? Much easier to be the one squashed and the one shut up. Yes. Fergus, I hope you don't mind, but I was looking at your drawings, the ones of the horse. Huh? You are very talented. Oh, well, modesty prevents me from agreeing. Did you do it from life? Oh, no. Imagination. Oh, strictly imagination. Because I think I saw it. What? The horse. I tried to follow it, and that's how I got lost. But it looks exactly like your drawing. You must have seen it before. Well, these mountains are tricky. People sometimes see things that aren't really there. Just get some sleep now, and I'll take you down in the morning.
want to go out. Sarah, look at this glorious morning. Smell the air. Have you ever seen a day like this one? <laughs> no, I don't think I have. It looks too good to be real. Aye, it's a great place, all right. Look, you can almost see the Viking horde coming over the hill. Fergus. Aye? I heard something. What? A horse from over there behind the house. Did you not? You must have heard it. Uh, well, my ears aren't what they used to be. Right. Uh, are you fit enough to walk? Yeah, I think so. Why, are we going somewhere? Well, back down the mountain, of course. I see. Oh, come on, lass. Well... This is as far as I need to go. You can see your father's house from the bottom of the hill. Don't you want to meet my father? Mm, thanks all the same, but I think it's best if I go. Fergus. Thanks for everything. I'm well, glad to be of service. Goodbye, Ozzy. Have you any idea how much trouble you've caused? What? Ten good men spent their night on a cold mountain because of your selfishness. I don't believe this. Well, then, let me make it perfectly clear. I'm not prepared to have you wandering off wherever you choose, whenever you choose. Wait a minute! You told me to go up there. Aye, and I expected you to be back before nightfall, not wandering around the mountainside visiting any old Tom, Dick and Harry. Look, I fell. I hurt my ankle and Fergus rescued me all right. So why did you tell me you knew how to ride when clearly you don't? It was an accident. Could have happened to anyone, even you. Uh, I've not finished yet. Well, I have. And don't you think it's a little late to start playing father? Hi. Oh, hi. Come on. You know the trouble. She's overflanking. Come on. What? Overflanking. Driving the sheep round in a circle. Come on, get, come back. Hey, come on. She has to sit at the top of the flock, just behind at 12 o'clock. Not too close, not too far, just to drive them in a straight line. Hey! She's just a wee bit over ambitious, that's all. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. You're good at it. Not as good as your father. He's a master of gentle persuasion. Can't say I'd noticed. Hmm, I heard. Look, Sarah, I wanted to apologize. What for? I shouldn't have let you go up there on your own. It's not your fault. If it's anyone's fault, it's his. But if you think that rock looks anything like a fish, then you've got a very strange imagination. So you're going to tell me about Hollywood then? I've been dying to hear. I bet you've met hundreds of movie stars. Well, not exactly hundreds. Have you ever met anybody famous? I did see Bruce Willis once. Really? Yeah, he was ordering an ice cream for his kid. Double fudge ripple. That's amazing. Bruce Willis ordered an ice cream? Seems a million miles away. Alistair. What? Are there any wild horses in the mountains? Wild horses? No, not in Scotland. I see. Why? Just wondering.
morning. Going somewhere? For a ride. And don't worry, I won't get lost. You won't have to go to any trouble. What happens if you get hurt again? Don't worry, I won't. Sarah. What? Don't you think I should know where you're going? To see Fergus. I'm not sure that's a very good idea. Look, I don't know what it is you've got against Fergus. He's just a harmless old man. Who happens to be very confused. No, I don't think he is. Sarah. Sarah, come back. I thought you might be back before long. So what do you think? He's beautiful. Ah, uh, he is that. Ah. He's coming. Look, he's coming to see us. from? Is he wild? As wild and free as your imagination. Do you think he'd let me ride him? He might, but I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? One, it would be dangerous. Two, he's wild and he's free. And I think it's best he stays that way. Don't you? Yeah, I suppose. Why did you tell me there was no horse? I said no such thing. You said I was seeing things. No, I said sometimes people see things in the mountains that aren't really there. But he's there, all right. What are you going to do? I don't know. Whatever I do seems to be wrong. I suppose I'll just have to go up and get her. If you think that's the right thing to do. 
Well, you obviously don't. What do you suggest? She'll be back before the day's out, I promise you. She's just so... damn stubborn. I wonder where she gets that from. There's a book. My mother used to read it to me when I was a kid. It's about a Scottish legend. Ah, well, Scotland's full of legends. It's about a horse, the Princess Stallion. According to the legend, he's been waiting for a princess to come back for over 500 years. Mm, it sounds like a good legend to me. I guess it sounds pretty silly. Not in the slightest. I don't really believe it. I mean, I know it's just a kid's story. Well, he's real enough. You saw him for yourself. But why didn't you want me to know? Come on, I'll show you something. A long time ago, before even I was born, these mountains were covered in forests. And bit by bit, they've been taking them away. Who have? The taters. They've been closing in on this place for years. And the mountain just seems to get smaller and smaller. Who are the takers? People. Just like you and me, except they have to come up the mountain and take whatever they can sell. Ozzy! Say that, quick! Oh, my God. It looks like we arrived just in time. It's all right. She's too weak to mind. Do you think she'll be all right? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of help from us. It's okay. There you go. It's all right. Okay. All right. Good girl. You know what, Malky? What? It's the peace that attracts me to this place. If you listen hard enough, you can hear Mother Earth breathing. To peace. To peace and... Uh, tranquility. To peace and tranquility. What was that? I hope it's not what I think it is. Come on. <clears throat> Time to go to work. Come on, follow me. Quietly. That's the only way to fish, Malky boy. <laughs> Right here. Whatever you do, don't let them see you or the phone. Let it so long. They won't stop till there's nothing left. Somebody has to stop them. I promise you this. If ever I stand face to face with these villains, because that's what they are, I'll... <sighs> A 
the detonators are gone. Somebody is going to have to pay for this. We didn't. No, but there were others. And we have to make sure that this doesn't happen again. But we don't know who did it. I've got a pretty good idea who did it. This sort of thing has happened before. So what are we going to do? We are going to... We are going to do what we are going to do. Come on, quietly. No, don't worry. She'll be fine. Are you sure? Well, I fixed your leg up, didn't I? Yeah, you did. And she'll need to be getting home soon. Her parents will be worried. I don't want to go back, Fergus. Oh, I can see that. So, what's the problem? I don't know. It's just he doesn't understand things the way you do. That's because the controller has lost a child in him. It's not uncommon with adults. Everyone's got a child stored away somewhere. As you get older, you build walls to keep the child safe from the world. And you lose some of the joy that life has to offer. But you haven't. That's because I don't need walls. I've got my mountain. That your father wants. What for? He wants to graze his animals here. But he does already. Aye. Up at the North Field, but that's barren land. He wants to use the meadows. A few sheep wouldn't hurt. Not on their own, no. But with the sheep would come the fences to keep them in, the roads to reach them, the tractors to transport them, the buildings to keep them safe at night. How do you think our stallion would feel about all that, eh? He wouldn't come. No, he wouldn't. Oh, if only your father would spend the time to see what was really up here. You know, he too has a child locked away somewhere behind his own walls. And I don't think it would be fair to let it stay there. Do you? Wish me luck. Good luck. so lucky to live here. Yes, I suppose I am. But you really should try to get up into the mountains more. There's streams to swim in, meadows to run through, and there are creatures absolutely everywhere. Fergus knows all of the best places. Sarah, I know what's up there, but some of us have to work, you know. But not tonight, eh? You've not eaten? No. Am I late? A little. Sorry. Not to worry. Besides, I thought we'd wait until you got home before we had dinner. Anything particularly you fancy? Would Mrs. Brown mind if I cooked? No. I'm sure she'd be delighted. Gentlemen, if you will direct your attention this way, let me introduce, direct from the colonies, the land that gave you MTV and Mickey Mouse now brings you Dinner. <laughs> Take your seats, Mrs. Brown. Well, this is a treat. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm dying of suspense. I'm dying of hunger. Tana! Hamburgers. Veggie burgers. Veggie burgers? Yes. Go ahead, try one. You won't be able to tell the difference. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Hmm. It's very good. And chips. French fries. This is a 100% red, white, and blue American pig out. If it's so American, why do you call them French fries? Never mind what you call them. When do we eat them? In America, you help yourself. Right. Well, this is a first. I don't think I've ever had a veggie burger before. <laughs> I can't believe it. More in these I eat them almost every day. day. You do? <laughs> yeah. Sarah? Get out of here. Oh, don't be so inhospitable. We are just a couple of starving travellers down in our luck. Oh, Malky, look what I found. A little pet. That was lucky. We were just talking about how much we love a tasty venison burger. Let her go! And you know what, Malky? What's that, Rob? This little fellow. Get the sack. Because this little fellow is going to make somebody a lovely little doormat. Oh, yes. Eh, don't be so possessive. There's plenty more where he came from. Malky! What? Get the bird. No! But will it bite? No! But look at that beak. I'm telling you, it won't bite. But what if it comes... Just look at... get it, Malky! We don't need the dog. Have you got the message? Leave the traps alone! I'd see the day when your father did the washing up. Perhaps you should cook the dinner more often. All done. Unless there are any other household duties to perform. What do you think, Mrs. Brown? Maybe some dusting. I wouldn't push your luck. Well, I'm away to bed. Night. Night, Mrs. Brown. Night. I enjoyed that. I think we all did. Thanks. Sarah. Yeah? I'm sorry about the things I said. Yeah. Me too. I was just... I said it's okay. I don't know how much your mother told you about us and... well... about me. She said you were stubborn, unreasonable, and old-fashioned. But did she say anything bad about me? I just want to say that... Well, I'm not sure I quite know how to put it. Just say it. Right. Well... I loved your mother very much. And I think she loved me, too. But she never felt that she belonged here. I tried to persuade her. Maybe that was a mistake, I don't know, but... in the end... we just drifted apart from each other. So why did you never keep in touch with me? Oh, Sarah, you know that's not fair. I wrote... Christmas and birthdays. Do you think that's enough? No, I don't, which is why I came to visit you. Twice in nearly ten years. Sarah, listen. You don't know what it's like to visit somebody that you love dearly, knowing full well that in a couple of days' time you'll be waving goodbye to them across an airport barrier. It broke my heart. But I tried again. I booked my ticket made arrangements for the running of the farm. 
And then your mother phoned and said that it might be better if I waited for a while. And maybe she was right. You were doing so well at school, and it, it just seemed best if... if you were allowed to get on with your life without me. And so I just carried on here, hoping and praying that maybe things would change, and I'd look up from the shearing one day and see the pair of you walking towards me across the field. Now, I know that the whole of that dream can never become a reality. But that day when I met you at the airport, I felt that I'd got a good half of it. I didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> it's okay. It's just that I miss her so much. I know. I know. something that's really hard to believe. Will you believe me? I don't know. I'll try. There's a wild horse up in the mountain. He's pure white and powerful. And every morning... He, he comes to the meadow. You've seen him? No, but I've heard of him. How? I've heard the stories, but... I don't believe he actually exists. I've seen him. Sarah. It's true. This is Fergus, isn't it? First he keeps you out all night, and now he's filling your head with rubbish. It's not rubbish. I've seen the stallion. Sarah, Fergus lives up there on his own. He has no job, no friends, nothing to occupy his mind. All he can do is invent stories. He's paranoid. Paranoid? Yes. He thinks everybody's ganging up against him, trying to steal his mountain and spoil his little world. But they are. There are poachers who kill the animals. Sarah, there are no poachers. There are. Why won't you believe me? Because I know that he's been putting ideas in your head. All Fergus has been trying to do is protect the mountain from being ruined. It's all he's got, and everyone's been trying to take it away from him, including you. Why? What's he been saying? <laughs> You've been trying to use his land. I've been trying to buy it, but Fergus won't budge. I made him a fair offer, too. If I was as poor as Fergus, I'd have jumped at the chance to sell. No. Fergus is not the one who's poor. You are. Right, that's enough, young lady. Because you can't open your eyes wide enough to see what's right in front of him. I don't want to discuss it further. Why won't you listen? Good night, Sarah. Fergus? Osborne? This one won't be causing any more damage. You know what this means? Yeah, we caught a stick. No, Malky. What this means is war. Oh, do we have to hurt the old man again? I think so. Don't you? But, but he might have some more pets we could have. No, you don't understand, Malky. I like hurting him. Come on.
we've got a horse to catch. Sarah! I'm sorry. If you're frightened them, Sarah. Fergus, I'm sorry. Oh, he's wild, Sarah. I'm sorry. I didn't think you would mind. He can't be tamed. I really am sorry. I believe you. What happened to your head? Oh, I fell. There's nothing. Where's the fawn? Let's just say the Shakers came and took her and the fox and the bird. But they can't. They did. Let me see your head. I, I just like to be on my own now. I've had a busy couple of days and I've got work to do. What work? It's my battle, Sarah. Well, it's mine now, too. And I'm staying. Sarah, please! I want you to go. It's not stealing, it's borrowing. Well, but we take it back after we sell the horse. Yeah, well, maybe. Look, nobody's going to miss it. It's a wreck. They'll probably thank us for taking it off their hands. OK. Hey, come on. Don't worry. The rope's still attached. He'll get caught up eventually. But what if he gets caught up and starves before we find him? Well, we'll sell him for glue. Let's go.
Isn't life just wonderful? It's the kid. <laughs> this place is full of horse lovers. It's champion the Wonder Horse! Stay with you. Fergus, hold on. For God's sake, hold on. I'm asking you simply, did you lock it? Aye, I think I locked it. I'm sure I locked it. how to control him.
Sarah. What is it? What's happened? <clears throat> I'm afraid he's suffered a mild heart attack. Also, it's the takers. What? The takers. They come to the mountain and take whatever they can sell. Perker's probably trying Sarah, to stop. Sarah, please. Will he be all right? Well, he's old and very weak. We'll just have to keep an eye on him and see. That's the best we can do. Can we see him? Yes, all right. But just a short visit. Room 107, down the hall. Turn left. Keep going. Thanks, Doctor. No, you go in. I'll wait out here. Sure, it'll be all right. Yeah. How about you? I'm okay. Good. Dad. Mm hmm. I tried to ride him and he got scared. Sarah. The takers were after him. If Fergus tried to stop them, that's when he got injured. Sarah, Fergus is just old. As the doctor said, he, he probably fell over and his heart gave out. They'll do all they can to help him. I don't understand why. Even now, when Fergus is lying in the hospital, you can't... No, you won't believe me. All right, all right. Maybe there's a horse. And maybe there are poachers, and maybe they did attack Fergus. But there's nothing you can do about it now. So I suggest you get a good night's sleep. Hmm? Everything will seem better in the morning. Always does. Good night, Sarah. Good night. Okay. The uh, wrong one. Go back to sleep if you want. Here we go. So how are you going to get her to help us? Watch me. Watch and learn. Ian Stewart, hello. Jeff. Uh huh. That was Jeff at the police station. Fergus has regained consciousness. 
Well, that's good news, isn't it? Apparently he was run down by poachers. Why would anyone want to do a thing like that to Fergus? He tried to stop them stealing a horse. It's maybe just another of his stories. Uh, it could be, except that Jamie McDonald's just had his horse box stolen in broad daylight. Sarah? Sarah? Alistair! Have you seen Sarah? She's gone up into the mountains. Right, come with me. Mrs. Brown, can you get Jeff quickly as you can, please? And tell him that if Sarah is only half as stubborn as her father, she'll have gone to the mountains to protect that horse of hers. Nice dog, eh? Put him down. Oh, can't I pet him a little? I said put him down. Okay, okay. Right, dog. Say hello to your friends. Now, we're looking for a horse. Oh, well, good luck. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. We want you to help us to find the horse. You see, this particular horse seems to like you. Not surprising. You seem like a nice person. So, we thought that you would uh, help us to catch the horse. Why should I? Oh, because if you don't, then Ozzy will end up as Doggy Chow Min. I'm not helping you or anyone else catch that horse. He's wild and he belongs in the mountains. And if you don't let Ozzy go right now, I'll report you to the police. Ooh. Here's the deal. You can either help us to catch the horse or you can help us to catch the horse. Let go of me. Mr. Stewart, look! Come on.
Alistair, you can drive, can't you? Uh-huh. Right. Now's your chance. What? I want you to keep as close to the pickup as possible. and I are leaving now. Sarah's coming with us. Don't worry, she'll be fine. But if I see so much as a glimpse of any of you, she takes a tumble. And if we let you go, you'll release her. Oh, I can't make any promises about that. I'm not listening to you anymore, Rab. You shouldn't set traps. It's cruel. Come on. How are we feeling? Well, I don't know how we are feeling. But I'll be feeling just fine once I get out of this torture chamber. Well, I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with us a little while longer. Oh, thanks, but no thanks. I didn't live my life to die in a room full of wires. We're going to start doing some tests tomorrow. Oh, no. Nothing to worry about. Uh -huh. Just you get some rest, and I'll see you in the morning. Oh. You won't get your cold hands on me. Sure, he didn't hurt you. Yeah. You're absolutely sure. That was the hospital on the phone. Fergus has discharged himself. Do you know where he's likely to have gone? I think so. Well, what are we waiting for?
that it then. Now, just one last time, after all these years, Look at this glorious morning. Smell the air. You ever seen a day as beautiful as this one? Oh, hello, Ozzy. Oh, that's my good boy. He's come to see me. And the princess. Oh, I knew he would. Long ago, in the highlands to the north, there was a horse. He was not like any other horse. He was wild and beautiful, with a spirit that was strong and free. Some people say that the horse still lives at the top of the mountain. Others say the princess stallion is only a myth. But I know better. <laughs> <laughs> 